Hey guys, this is John. Uh, just uh, wanted to show you the progress I'm making on the fully assembled rip wrap, the $900 level. It has been a slow process, but it is yielding really good results. As you can see, it is printing. The hotbed is installed, but it's not actually controlled by the board right now. It's actually just being hot wired straight to the power supply, and then I disconnect it when I uh, when I think it's too hot. It's working pretty well. This is just a rough run to see if it uh, if it prints out something decent. I need to uh, do a little bit more tweaking to get it per perfect down to like the last thousandths of a millimeter. Uh, there is a problem with the belt, this Maker Gear belt. It's got huge teeth on it. It is ridiculously un un uh, calibrated because it's, the teeth are too big. I use a, T, a GT2 belt on my own machine. I believe this is at least GT5 or a T5, which is much higher. Uh, I'm considering replacing it with some extra belts I have on hand. It just uh, it reduces some of the knocking you hear right here. Not right now, when it gets there it goes. You hear that? Yeah, those clipping sounds. It's from the, the notches on the belt actually hitting. Uh, this reminds me a lot of my machine when I had those problems and I replaced the belt and it just went away. So I'm considering getting rid of that and swapping those out for belts. The only problem with that is that the belt's black and this whole machine's white. Uh, it just wouldn't look good or it wouldn't match the rest. But, you know, form over function, I, I guess. So, okay, I'll let you watch the rest of this in peace. Oh, I just screwed up.